All right, for this machine, I've got an internal uh, modern day solution for the hard drive. But even if you had the original spinning hard drive, in fact, especially if you have the spinning hard drive, you, you wanna make a backup copy of this thing. Now, I've got a WHD load on this one. I think if you've never done it, or if you've done it just once, uh, it is kind of painful to get that thing set up initially. So once you get it going right, uh, it's good to back it up. That, that way, if you load something on there that messes it up later, you always have something to fall back on too. So you don't have to recreate the entire process. So uh, let's, let's run through that real quick. So what I've been using up until this point is this little device here. They're about $15 on eBay. About, uh, I don't know, 13 British pounds. And what they will allow you to do is use uh, an SD card, or in this case, a micro SD card and an SD card adapter and use that as the hard drive. Now what I'm about to do is I'm about to take that out and I found a suitable uh, spinning hard drive that I'm gonna mount in here. So it's all original. And uh, what I wanna do is make a backup copy of the WHD load that I have on this card. So what we're gonna do is flip over to a modern day computer to make an image of it. And we'll go to that now. Okay. So to do this, it's pretty easy. You just need a uh, little piece of software called Win32 Disk Imager, and it's free. You can get it off of the website SourceForge or various other spots on the internet. So uh, what this will allow you to do is make an image uh, of your SD card to a file. Now where this is cool is you can run it on an emulator or you can actually just burn it to another SD card or burn it back to the same SD card if you mess it up later, but you can keep the whole hard drive, partitions and all, as a single file on a modern day computer, just as a backup. So that's what we're about to do now. So let me get that going. Now it should be noted that when you insert this thing, it's gonna say the disk is not formatted. That's because the computer can't read it, but it doesn't need to because it's gonna do a uh, a bit per bit copy of this thing. So what we're doing is the WHD load, we'll put the file name in there. That's where it's it's gonna read from. And uh, you can just pick what kind of hash you wanna do on that and just pick read. And that's gonna go through that entire card so when we get done with this part, we should have a working image that we can test on an emulator to make sure we got, got it and it's not corrupted. All right, that took roughly, I don't know, about 10 minutes. It wasn't too bad. And it's, it's quite a large image that it, that it did. And this is an old computer as well. Um, although you see in Windows 7, it's actually a MacBook running boot camp, so it has Mac OS and Windows 7 on it. I use the Windows 7 primarily for the emulator stuff. So what I'll do now is the reverse. I've got a, a blue SD card in there now, you might notice. And I can actually write that image back out to the card. Or any other image for that matter. I've got a another one I wanna try here. Okay. So. Uh, if I didn't mention it a moment ago, I, I don't recall if I did or not. You need to run Win32 Disk Imager as administrator. So uh, if you don't, you might not be able to read the non, non-DOS disk. Uh, but you can do that by right-clicking and run as administrator when you're ready to kick it off. Mm -hmm. So now, so instead of read, now I want to do a write because I've got the image. And uh, write that out to the F drive. Yep. That was a spare one I had in an old camera. That's why it comes up with the word Pentax on there for the disk name. All right, so it's doing the opposite now. So this is, this is how you can back them up. All right, as far as emulation goes, this is the one we just made, the one that says WHD load on it. So let's see if we can't get that to work. Hard drives, hard drive file. 
I just need to browse to the path of it. It's on the desktop. And we will remove the old one that was up there. If all goes well, it should boot up. We'll know in a moment. Oh, look at that. That is the same exact image that is on the uh, the real Amiga. So it looks like that worked. Which is great if you want to test it out in an emulator. Uh, this instance, I've got uh, WinUAE up, but others work as well. So that is the, uh, the bulk of it. All right, so as you can see here, I've got the emulator going here and Real Amiga here. And they are running the same hard drive image. So while well, that one's the actual hard drive on an SD card, and this one is running the image that we just made. And where it's really good is uh, if you run something that doesn't work in the emulator, you can try it on the real one to see if there's some kind of compatibility issues. And and uh, what's nice about the emulator is you can change which chipset and how much memory it's got and, and all that. And you can actually see what the problem is that's causing it not to work on the real one if that's that's the case. Anyway, I just thought I would mention this. This is a real handy tool, um, and it's a great way to keep your data safe. All right, I'll close this video out with a demo. I'm going to run it on both machines, but I'm going to mute it on the emulator so you don't hear the sound from, from that one.